Yeah, this is my 1970 uh, Catalina 22. Uh, I believe this one is hull number 68. So it was one of the very first ones made. I just redid all the wiring. I kept most of the original wiring, just cleaned up uh, and ran new wires where we were needed. And I uh, uh, redid the interior lights and put LED lighting in there. So I'll show you what that looks like. Get the camera in here to adjust. Now we step on board. This is still a construction site. Took all the cushions out. Get that cleaned up and reupholstered mostly. And as you can see, there's that light. And let me turn on the accessory light here, I believe. Yeah, there you go. There's a little cigarette lighter type. See if it doesn't overwhelm the camera. And there's the basic the battery of the wiring. I'm trying to keep the wiring as high up as possible so it doesn't sit in water. Shouldn't any water come in here. And there was a hole here from the previous owner. So I guess they had a cigarette lighter. So I put a new one in there. Gonna seal off all these wires. We need to put a light down in there. We'll see what we do with that. And basically I'm still cleaning up the wiring. And you know, cleaning uh running little uh, what they call it, zip ties, yeah. So that way, everything's neat and orderly. Here's what it looks like in the back. And there's to that uh, accessory plug with a little built-in light. And of course, in the hatch here. Yeah. And uh, I think I had to run one new main switch. And see how it looks there. Not bad, that looks okay. And of course we still gotta run the bilge pump. This originally did not come with the bilge pump. So have to, yeah, just using the manual pump. And here's that side. And of course, ran one wire here, or not one here, uh, ran a new light here. And I still got a few things I got to figure out what to do with, like this, this uh, marine head here. Since it does not go to holding tank, I should just completely remove that and just put a porta potty in here. Since when this was made, that was still legal, but not anymore. And of course, there's a one light there. I'm not too sure how old that light is, but I pulled an LED bulb in there. And the boat's pretty clean now. Yeah. So I, I disinfected in here too. So know what grows after so many years forward hold yeah because when you're when you're camping in here you don't want to be uh you know breathing in mold so we have to clean that up a little bit and then wiring up in there for the light. I put a new, uh, a new uh, light up front and then clean up the stern light. Ugh. Hard to crawl on these things. Ugh. It gives you an over idea, overall idea with the, having new LEDs, uh, lights. Your drain is a lot less. Then running uh, the incandescence. 
and the lights I use are these warm LEDs. Not, as you can see there, the drop light is a, a cold blue type light, and got a little bit warmer light there. And back here is a much warmer light. I prefer that over the cold blue. Yeah, it's going to crawl up front. That's probably a small boat. It is. Not much stand up height. Sitting down is no problem. And of course, this boat does not have a pop top. Everything else is structurally pretty good. There's a few little, little cracks here. What caused that? I'm not sure. It's probably just a design stress from, from the people sitting on it or just the way the boat flexes. And a few other things you want to do is double clamp these. That's the still original single clamps. And these should probably be replaced, but this up here is not so bad. Down there, I'd be more concerned about. And that's pretty ugly there. That needs to be changed. Some people call it the volcano down here. But this pipe here, this water can come up and come in the inside. And of course, the old keel winch. Cable is not too rusty. All this will have to be checked out before I put it back in the water. There we go. Yeah. So as you can see, it's fairly clean. To go with it over it one more time. Right now, it's still a construction sign up. Enjoy the video.